Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's Friday the 18th of September. We have a load of new mods, we have a load of updates. The updates for today are as follows. From top left with the John Deere 6M series by Blau Err, uh, the New Holland T4 by Black Eyes Modding, the Amazon T-Pack by Vertex Design, the Vicon Vibraflow 1500, the Lizard 60 by Farm Centro Sul, the Small Bunker Silo set by Camelos 0397, Better Lights by Hot Tools and San Andreas. From right to left with these ones, the Man TGX Semi Truck Pack by Mr. Force Technic Hadju Ho, the CSZ Equipment Pack by DZ Mod Passion, Kaminki by Kaminu and Pavelk 20, and No Man's Land by Alien Jim have all had updates. The No Man's Land by Alien Jim, which is the map I do my uh, mod reviews on it says here added 31 the placeable items that's on top of the count that's already on there added 21 placeable trees added another four foliage types to landscape painting added the log cabin and old wooden farmhouse to decorations reversed the direction of motorway traffic adjusted greenhouse water sound volume but it does say please note the aj tech placeable trees cannot be cut down the only uh, they can only be sold back to the store these placeable trees should not cause any other placeables or sell points to disappear when removed from the map they cannot be cut down they are decorative but they can be sold back and it then does say no new save game required okay right in front of me we've got the same lamborghini herleman 190 horsepower pack this is by ago modding or ago modding um we had a pack almost the same as this very recently also by ago modding and most of the features are pretty much the same these are just the next evolution of those tractors um i'm sure the original ones what does it say in here medium large model from the slh group um currently sdf from the mid 90s successor to the titan racing master series so this is the next evolution on uh, slightly higher horsepower but like I said, the options are pretty much the same. When we do go through the options, the options are identical for each of the tractors. Now in this pack, we have got the um, HP Master, Master HP. Uh, we've got the um, Lamborghini, but this is a special edition one, an 1800. Um, it's the premium 1800 model. Then we've got the um, Lamborghini Racing Hyper. Then we've got the Same, Same Super Titan. And then we've got the Same Silver 180, all in this pack. And as you can see, there's various different configurations. We've got a forest version. Again, uh, the pack that we had recently was, was incredibly similar to this. This is the one that, if you watch that one, if you didn't, then this is all going to be new. Um, this has got adjustable mirrors, adjustable seat. Um, obviously, if you go with the forest version, you can adjust the front plow section. Um, different uh fender options we can have it even with these the side panels removed so you can see to the engine like air conditioning um different weights you can have three point link foldable three point link um yeah that's it with it folded that's the foldable three point link that's the normal three point link um twins uh, oh you know all sorts really nice looking models they sound really good too so what we'll do is have a look in store at all the options available. These are under medium tractors. We also had a pack by RL modding as well of the same sort. Now, these are the original ones. I think these are the original ones. Um, or they might be the RL modding ones. Uh, if we go further along, we've then got these three here that I think were the... Yeah, these were the original ones. This is the new pack. I just get so confusing. Um, so we've got the Master HP, 44,700. Uh, we've got the Premium 1800, 48,500. The Racing Hyper, the Super Titan, and the Silver 180 are all part of this pack. These are 32 slots each for the first one. And then it drops down to two slots for every subsequent one you have after that. So, options available. We can change the rim colour from cream, white, light yellow, grey, I went for silver. I do like the silver look on some of these. I think the Lamborghini one has slightly different options on the rim colours, but not a lot of difference. Um, then we've got tyre choices. We've got Michelin. We've got Trelleborg. 
Nokian, and back again. Under Michelin, we've got Originals, Wide Tyres, we've got Wides and Weights, Rear Twins, back to Originals again. Um, then under Trelleborg, we've got Alternative Base, it says. Wheel Weights, Alternative Base, Narrows, Rear Twin Narrows, back to Standard. Knock-ins don't have any change at all, that's what you just get that standard. And then back to Michelin's again. Then under design we've got standard without hood, which takes the side bits off. We've got a little scoop thing on the back here. And this is like I say, that's I think that's the air conditioning section. Because then it says air conditioning, which takes that block off the back of the roof. That goes. You see that going? Hang on. Anyway, then we go forward one. Then we put the sides back on. So air conditioning is gone, but the sides are back on. And then back to standard. It's mind-boggling, the various different options. Uh, then fenders. Standard. Rear mudguard without fenders. Takes the front and rear mudguards off. Then you can have beacon light right added on. Beacon lights and rear fender. <laughs> beacon lights without fender. Uh, and then I think we go back to standard. Yep. And then hydraulic connections on the front. This is we can have... 80 kilogram weight, 160 kilogram, 240 kilogram, 320 kilogram, 400 kilogram, 480. Then front attacher foldable, front attacher standard, front loader. So again, this is one of those ones you can't have a three point link and a front loader. It's one or the other, um, which I, it's a bit restrictive, but I suppose with the attachments for that, it won't then put the frame on for the three point link. Um, so those are the attachments for the Hurleyman Master HP. The Premium 1800 is actually the tyre choices I want to have a quick look at. So I'm pretty sure they're the same. Original wheel weights. Hang on. Right, Michelin. Wides. Wides and weights. Rear twins. Back again. Trelleborg. Knock-in standard. Trelleborg original wheel weights. Alternative base. Weights. Narrows, rear twin narrows, back to standard. Yeah, pretty much. So I think all the other options then we scroll through are exactly the same as they were on the first one. Um, same with fenders, we can scroll for the fender options. Then with lights and fenders, without fenders. Then again down to the bottom, all the various different weight options right the way through to the foldable front attacher, three point standard, and then back again. So yeah, pretty much. All the options are the same. Um, it's just the prices, and they're pr fairly cheap. 32 slots isn't that high. 44,700. Each one is 189 horsepower. You can't change that horsepower requirement. That's the same across all of them. 189 horsepower for 48 grand. That's pretty good. You, you can't really odds it. Um, the thing that is odd, I suppose, is the fact you've got a Super Titan, and then you've got the Silver... But there's not really the horsepower is exactly the same. Um, there might be an odd little adjustment here and there, or there might be an option that's slightly different. But there's quite a lot of them in that pack. Now again, they all sound the same. The options are all the same. Uh, what we'll do is jump in. I don't know why this one, but door opens and closes when we get in. Sounds really good. <coughs> Lights. Horn. Obviously this one we can see inside the engine bay, but you can't necessarily in all of them. Um, beacons on the top. Then from inside, really nicely detailed. The detail in each one is slightly different, obviously, because depending on the brand. But if we open up the help menu, we then have our options. So on the it says control group. We've got four control groups. So we've got control group adjust the seat. L1 and right stick side to side. We can side our seat forward and backwards so you can get a slightly better kind of field of vision if you want to go for that. Um, if we then press triangle, we go to control group left mirror adjustment. And like I say, the other version of these this mod had the same options. 
L1 and right stick side to side moves the whole rig in and out like so. R1 and up and down the right stick adjust the mirror that direction. Then L1 and R1 and right stick side to side adjust the mirror in that direction. So quite a lot of options there, control surfaces. If I press triangle again it gives me the same options but on the right mirror. Then if we go control group again it does front blade. Well I haven't got the front blade on this one, that's only on the forestry version, but that can adjust the front blade up or down. So L1 and right stick up and down will do the front blade if you've got a front blade attached. Um, but we've also got, let's go back to adjust the seat. If we go with L1 and R1 we've got change driving direction 2, press X and our driving direction changes for doing various different jobs. There's all sorts of reasons why you might want to go for that option. Um, so we can change our driving direction too. Quite a lot of options, versatility and things we can be doing with this. Like I say, it, does, it sounds really good and, and not too expensive either. Very cool. We just jump into the Hurleyman very quickly. We'll see that the interior is slightly different. Is it though? I'm just looking down actually, I'm just trying to think. I don't know if it is, you know. Everything adjusts, I love that. Steering wheel adjusts, the stick moves into position. Uh, let's jump into the Same. No, actually, I think the interior is the same, look. But yeah, very cool indeed. So, that is the Same Lamborghini Hurleyman 190 HP by Ago Modding. Sorry, I, this is a lot of them to get through and I just wanted to... Um, there's so many in that pack. I wanted to make sure I didn't miss anything, which I probably have done, but um, apologies if I have. I'm going to use this tractor now to show you the next mod. The next mod is the Lizard MS2 by Zasti. Uh, if we hook up to it, it is this. It's a pallet fork, three-point link attached. Um, L1 and circle raises and lowers it. This will use two slots. But L1 and right stick you can do it manually with adjustment on the right stick, side to side, up and down, if you want to do it manually. Um, it only goes down to there though, which is a bit of a problem, because if you're picking up pallets, you're going to have to tilt it and hope the pallets slide up. So I don't know... I tried it on the front three-point link on one of the other ones and that's as far down as it goes which like I say if you are picking up pallets that might be a little bit of a problem um, let's turn the engine off this you'll find uh, under tools and under miscellaneous I think it was miscellaneous yep there you go the MS2 350 to buy like I say two slots for the first one we can change the main color to anything on that color palette like so and that's what it does Okay, moving on. I should have brought a tractor down with me, but never mind. Next up, we've got this. This is the New Holland CR5080 by Agrotono. It's a small New Holland. Really nice. Nicely detailed. This one is a kind of pack, I guess. You get the harvester, you get a header, and we get a header trailer. Header trailer is really nicely detailed as well. Double axle. Well, I'll say double axle. Sort of single axle, but four wheels. Um... It attaches really neatly onto this as well. Fits really well, attaches really well. Um, not many options on it, to be fair. You get what you get. It, it, in light of some of the modded harvesters we've had recently, it's fairly expensive for the size, I suppose. But then we've been spoilt because some of them have been really cheap. So it probably is about right as how much it should be. But um, this you will find under vehicles, under harvesters, so there you go, 215,000 to buy. It will use, how many slots was this? 29 slots for the harvester. Um, 294 horsepower, 7,050 uh, 7, litre tank, so not huge. Uh, but then the options available, uh, it's just wheels. We've got standard or we've got twins. Those are the options available on it. That's what you get. The top cover and that is all on there as standard. Uh, no other options, just those. Um, then if we go into tools, the header is under headers. That's 10 slots. 
very feed 25 foot 46,000 to buy uh, so 7.6 meters 25 foot runs at six miles an hour regular header no options available you get the header then also under tools we've got the header trailer that comes with this too very feed 25 foot cutter trailer 5,000 to buy uh, this is only one slot for the header trailer with the header trailer we have got the option as well though we can change the rim color like so and we can change the main color to anything on that color palette like so so you can kind of mix and match it so potentially you could use it with um, other headers maybe that might be why it's been put in there with various different color options because it may well be compatible with other headers um, so that's the header I mean a header is a header they they do their job and the reels adjustable up and down and in and out a little bit um, nicely detailed it's the harvest that's the interesting bit isn't it well I suppose it's all interesting horn lights and off again pipe out So it does have a light on the pipe as well, the auger, which I do like as an option. I do like that with harvesters, it makes a big difference, especially, well, when you're harvesting at night, not especially, that's obviously, that's the case. Um, on the back, we have our enable swath, if I get it right, there we go. So we can have uh, swath dropping or not. Trailer hitch on the back, obviously, if hooking up to your header trailer. Beacons are the smaller variety. Runs up to 26 miles an hour. This is a nice, nice harvester. Nice size. I think this, these type, was it when they moved away from the TX models onto the, um, oh, what was it we had before the TC590? There was onto the CRs. I think it was. Probably got that wrong. Um, apologies if I have. But inside, nicely detailed. Go for our light options, engine off. Control stick moves while we move. Very nice. So there we go. That's the CR5080 by Agrotono. Um, I'm going to need that in a second because the next mod we're going to look at is this little beauty this is very nice indeed this is the Cressoni um, compact 10 this is by SMI modding team uh, the Cressoni headers I like anyway but this is the corn header version of the Cressoni headers um, nice compact unit this opens out to 7 point I'll say 7.6 or 7.8 7.8 meters I think it is uh, working speed of 10 kilometers per hour um, a few options on this what is more for me personally mind-boggling with this is when you see it unfold the animation is incredible the mechanics and engineering involved in how this head of works is, is brilliant absolutely fantastic um, this you know said this by SMI modding team it uses 27 slots because of the amount of animation and everything that goes into this you'll understand why when you see it in operation but you'll find this under tools under corn headers there you go, 80,000 to buy, runs at 6 miles yeah, 6 miles an hour, 10 kilometers an hour uh, this will do corn and sunflowers, options available we can change the main colour from New Holland to John Deere to John Deere Yellow, Class, Ideal Russell Mash and Case um, and then there's also whichever one you go for you can then change the attacher type as well so you've got New Holland John Deere attacher class case ideal Russell mash and then back to New Holland again um, so those are the options on the header itself but to actually see it do its thing it is something to behold so we'll hook it up let's back up a bit watch this animation it's 
looks like a transformer. <laughs> that is so cool. Now it could just be the the um, harvester I've got this on. There's a little bit of wobble side to side on that and the attachment. No, it's supposed to be like that maybe. So it will run across uneven terrain maybe, I don't know. But the uh, animations, everything moving, the auger, looks great. And like I say, I, I could just watch that do that animation over and over and over again. Fantastic. That's the Grissoni Compact 10 by SMI Modding Team. Don't worry, we're not going to watch it again. I'm not going to put you through that. Right, moving on. We'll get to this in a second because I need to bring a tractor down. But next we've got this. We've had a few of these um, in the past. This is odd because this came up as two separate mods. We've got the Man TGS Agro Liner Pack by PM Modding. And then next to it says exactly the same thing. One shows a picture of two lorries and the other one shows a picture with the trailers. The second one is by PM Modding featuring uh, Farmer Beavis. But when I installed one, it installed the other one automatically. So I, I don't know why it didn't... I suppose because one is trailers, one is lorries, it couldn't all be in one pack. If you had a lorry pack, mind you, I suppose... I don't know. Yeah, maybe. That's probably why it was separate. Um, but in this pack, we have two different lorries... So we've got the slightly smaller one here, uh, the 18500, and then we've got the 26500. So we've got a smaller backed version here, and a slightly longer backed version there. Really nicely detailed. And then we've got the trailer pack that comes with it, and we've got the Agro Liner HKDs and... No, H... I'm going to get it the wrong way. HDK, HKDs, I always get it wrong. Yeah, HKD. And we got two HKDs and a TKD. <laughs> It'll make more sense when we look at it in the mod tub. Um, uh, but we've got standard versions and we've got the blue versions. Um, the difference is... That, well, I mean, there's probably more differences in the real world. With the standard versions, if you change the colours, it changes the internal panels, but leaves the actual framework the same, you'll see in the mod tub. With the blue versions you can change the colour and it changes the entire colour of the trailer. In essence, that's the only difference I could find between them. Um, the two lorries are 25 slots for this one, 40 slots for this one on console, and then the trailers were 5 slots, 5 slots, and 6 slots for the longer one. I think it was that way around. Um, but again, it was one slot in it between the three trailers, nothing... Uh, too dramatic. Only problem I found with this is what we've had quite a lot recently. We have a few different lorries and things. These lights here will only work if you've got a side panel. There's no button configuration to make these lights here work unless you've got a SATEC slash Logitech heavy equipment side panel, um, which is frustrating. But other than that, everything seems to work very nicely. Uh, you'll find the lorries under trucks, under vehicles, under trucks. So like I say, we've got the um, MAN HKDs, then we've got the HKD Blue versions. It just comes down to the, the different designs on the backs. 142,500 for the 18500, 165,000 for the 26500. Um, and like I say, it was 25 slots and 40 slots, 25 slots and 40 slots. Um, capacities we'll have a look at in a second. Well, 16,200 and 21,000 for the difference between the 18500 and the 26500 so it's capacity differences um, so as far as options go it's the same on both versions of these we can change the rim colour to anything on this palette there is a chrome one on here um, in all honesty I had a bit of a thing for the chrome for a while but I do like the silvers I've changed I've changed my what I like uh, um, they're really nice but again anything on that palette Main colour changes, like I say, 
that was in the main body, the actual vehicle itself. Design colour changes the panels inside on the trailer, on the rear section. It'll be the same on the trailers as well. Like so, so we can change the panel colours. And on the very end ones, it's almost like a wooden, there's, there's a kind of little layered kind of look to it. It looks like wood panelling, almost. Um, so that's on the standard HKD versions. Options available, we've got Lizard, we've got Trelleborg, we've got Michelin, Nokians. But under Lizards, we can have Standard and we can have Wides, which adds a kind of knobbly tread to it. Trelleborg, they're just Wides, no option changes. Michelin, no option changes. Nokians, communal tyres, no option changes. Then on the back, we've got Logos. We can have no logo, we can have a white logo, white logo with reflectors, coloured logo, coloured logo with reflectors, no logos. And this is where it all gets a little bit, again, engine setups. We've got an array of engine setups here. So we've got the 18430, 430 horsepower, 60 km an hour version. Then we've got the 430 horsepower version, but an 80 km per hour version. Then we go up an engine size to so the 470 horsepower, 60 km an hour version, 80 km an hour version. Then we go up to the 510, which is 510 horsepower, again 60 km per hour and 80 km per hour version. Um, so a few different options there within the engines themselves. Now, um, what I will do is show you the blue version of the larger one. So we'll, so we'll have seen a small one and a large one in both. The options on both those are the same. The options on these are almost identical. Rim colour, again, anything on that palette, like so. Main colour changes the cab. But on the design colour, on the blue version, if we change the colour, it changes the entire back, not just the central panels. And also you've got a much larger choice um, of colour options on the blue version. Um, other than that, the wheel brand options are exactly the same, the logo options are exactly the same, and the engine sizes are exactly the same. This one's the 21,000 litre version, the other one was the 16,200. So those are the options available on them. Uh, oh, trailers. <laughs> then the trailers that come with this are under tools and trailers. I suppose we got off quite lightly this week. We didn't have a huge amount of mods, and on those mods there weren't a lot of options. Today, that all changed. So, we've got the HKD302. 21,000 litre for 25 grand, five slots. HKD402, which is the 32,400 litre version, 37,500 to buy. Um, that was also five slots, but then weirdly, the TKD302, um, which is a solid chassis, so these two have got swivel axles on the front. This one hasn't, that's a solid axle, so it doesn't swivel. Um, that's a 21,000 litre version. Um, but that one's six slots. So options available on these ones are exactly the same as they are on the back of the lorry. We can change the main colour, which does the panels, like so. We can change the rim colour. Again, same options as it was on the lorry. Wheel brands are the same. Lizard, Trelleborg, Michelin, Nokian. Lizard, we've got standard and wide. And the others, we've just got wides all round. And again, no logo white logo, white and reflectors, coloured logo, coloured logo and reflectors, and then back to standard again. So that's the TKD and these two HKDs. Then we move on to the blue versions, which again, they're the same trailers, exactly the same parameters, exactly the same options, five slots, five slots, six slots. Difference is on this one, the same as it was with the lorry. We change the main colour, it changes the entire body, not just the panels on the inside. That really is the only difference between them. Um, you can't change the colour of the covers. That comes as a standard. Um, so we jump into this one, start it up. Beacons, lights, if we go through the light configuration, so R1 and circle, if we scroll all the way through, those lights don't come on here. You notice? But on my side panel that I've got plugged into my PlayStation, if I press the light option, they come on. But only come on if you've got the side panel option. Which is really frustrating. But it is what it is. Um, like I say, the detail is 
fantastic. Really, really nice. All the things moving that should be moving. This one's got 16,200. The trailer I went for was a larger one, which takes our capacity up combined to 46,000, uh, 48,600. Uh, covers off of the rear and of the cab. Tip functions on both of these, the front and the rear section. We can have tip side left, right, gr uh, rear and grain door. So if I do it now, so it's the moment it's on tip side back, tip side left, tip side right, tip side grain door. If we switch to that one, you'll see what I mean. That one needs to be changed to tip side left. Tip side right. And then tip side. Grain door. And that's the same for all of the trailers. And all of the main lorries. I mean, that in essence, they're the same vehicle, just slightly different capacities, slightly different sizes. Um, there's not really much point in me showing you both of those. Tip, tip's in exactly the same way. That one is the solid straight axle as opposed to the swivel axle you've got on that one. But like I say, I mean, when you go around and the detail and the tread patterns, everything really, really, really detailed, very, very nice indeed. Um, so, that is the MAN TGS Agro Liner Pack, both parts of the pack, by PM Modding, Modding featuring Farmer Beavis. Um, there we go. So, we'll turn that off. Um, next then, what have we got next? I am going to need a tractor, so I'll do this one next. Oh, that's not going to help with the three-point link, though, is it? Uh, doesn't matter. Let's have a look at this one next, because this is a little cracker. I love this. Um, this is the Lizard <coughs> Moolah. This is the Moolah TM17. Well, TM14 slash 17. I went for the 17 version, but um, this is made by a company called Moolah. I think the factory is based in Brazil, I think. But obviously branding. We've got the lizard version of it. This is like a little mini bud. It's, it's a fantastic little tractor. Um, not mega expensive. Horsepower only goes up to, I think, 170. It sounds great. It looks brilliant. Um, this is by Sluitjes Modding. I like it. Uh, this you'll find under vehicles, under um, medium tractors. There we go. TM17, 105,000. Um, this will only use nine slots. Only nine slots. Fantastic. Um, options available are tyres. You can start on the... I went for the larger ones, but the small ones here... I mean, actually, that looks perfect for on... Um, six ashes because it's quite narrow and that's pretty narrow that looks like it'll work really well um so we've got trelleborg we've got michelin mitres and back again under trelleborg we've got standard we've got trelleborg 520 70 or oh, something or others it doesn't i can't get any further on that um then we've got the smaller 620s twin 620s back to standard again so 520s doubled 620s and then 620 doubled Engine size is TM14 at 145 horsepower or TM17 at 170 horsepower, which takes the price up to 134 grand. Um, but it looks great. Now, oddly, on the back, it looks like there's three point link attachments there, but they're not. This is just a trailer attacher, which could be a bit of an issue. Um, it kind of will limit it a little bit to what you can use obviously there's no pto on that either so if you're going for a more realistic approach that kind of rules it out from using three-point link mounted equipment and stuff with ptos i did try to hook it up with the crate front lifter oh, i can't remember who made this that's going to annoy me it does attach but it wobbles around a little bit so yeah i mean it's a possibility but let's jump in it Horn. Lights. It's a it's a dinny little thing. It will eventually get up to twenty seven miles now. Hour. 
It's quite dark inside. I suppose it's a little bit, well, I don't know, I was going to say Kirovets ish esque. But, um, I don't know, it's just something different. It's a different design, it looks different, it's got a nice feel, it's, you know. I like it. I think it's very nice indeed. Um, yeah. That's it. I mean, there's not much else to that. There's not loads of options on that one. That's what you get. So that's the Lizard TM series. Muller TM series. So you can have the TM14 or TM17 version of that. Very nice. Right, I'm going to go and grab a tractor to do the last couple of mods. Bear with me. So next up we've got this. This is the SIP SIP Disc 260. Every time I say SIP disc, it reminds me, my, my dad used to get a slip disc in his back all the time. Um, it was something that plagued his life. Um, but yeah, SIP, the SIP disc 260. Uh, it does sound there, ALP 260S, ALP. Um, this is a rear mounted side mower. It's only a 2.6 metre, I think it is, 2.6. Yeah, pretty sure it is. Only requires 50 horsepower. Um, this is by B Gamer 3 Nicely modelled, nicely detailed. This you'll find in the mod hub under tools, under mowers. There we go. 6,500 to buy. Um, this will use nine slots. Uh, runs at 13 miles per hour. I don't think there's any options available on it. No, you get what you get. You get the mower. So what we'll do... Let's hook up. So, that's it hooked up. The skirts do flap in the breeze a little bit. It's always a nice feature, I do like that. Uh, we can fold it, L1 and X folds it up for transport out of the way. Like so, so if you're going down the lanes and stuff, it's not in the way. When you get to where you're going, unfold the mower, turn it on, and lower the mower. And it mows as a mower should. spinning and animated underneath there. Like so. Turn it off. Drop that down. And disconnect. There we go. So that's the SIP Disc 260 by B Gamer 3 Which brings me to the last of the mods for today. I'm just checking the mod hub to my side make sure it is. We've got the Lizard APL. The Lizard APL is also by Slutches Modding. Um, this is a slurry spreader. Again, yes we've got slurry spreaders but this is a slightly different design. Again, something I haven't really come across before like this. Um, it's rather nice looking. So, let's just turn that off a second. Here it is. The APL. Um, it's a little bit different very big solid chunky frame with a tank mounted on the top but no spreading section on the back which is kind of what we've got used to I suppose it's got wings that come out from the side here so rather than it be a kind of sp sprayer it's more a kind of s small mounted spray bar I suppose um, it doesn't say whether or not it's manure system compatible no but it will take slurry and it will take um, digestate, 10,000 litres of capacity. Um, this you'll find in the mods hub under slurry tanks. There you go. 72,200 to buy. Hang on a minute, that's weird. Uh, mod hub says it's 10,000 litre capacity. It's the APL 10. That says 17,000 litres. I'm pretty sure, saying that, I'm pretty sure I put 17,000 litres in it. 
Anyway, 72,200. Fairly pricey for its size, I guess. This will spread out to 8.5 metres because it's a bar with smaller nozzles rather than it spreading miles out on the back. Um, this will use... How many slots was this? I need to find up my list. Five. It's only five slots. Options available. We can change the main colour, which changes the chassis colour, like so. And the rim colour we can change also, like so. We can have Trelleborg, we can have Michelin, and that's it. We can have standards on wides. The wides are much smaller profile, lower profile. Uh, same with the Michelin standard or wides. Drops the whole rig down a little bit, like so. It's a very solid, boxy sort of construction. Um, let's check this. Yeah, 17,000 litres. So, try forward. L1 and X opens up the wings like so either side and turn it on and away we go nice animation it's really I, I like it it's cool it's, it's a little bit expensive I think that's the only thing slot counts really low but I suppose if money's no object if you've got a load of money or you've um, using government subsidy signs or you've won the lottery or something that doesn't really matter but it's nice like it's something a little bit different and I like that I like seeing different sorts of mods popping into the mod hub, and that certainly is. So there we go. That's the Lizard APL by Sluiches Modding. Fold that away, turn that off, and that's it for today. That's the mods for Friday. That's everything. I hope you found it useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, give us a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free, and if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do, as always, thanks for watching.